So here, remember, uh, remember I told you, so here I have um, 5.60 minus 7.75. And the reason why I went with this is, again, I like to always think of things in money when I'm dealing with adding, you know, subtracting what you guys are going to do there. Think about it. Let's pretend this represents $5.60. And this is $7.75. If you have $5.60 in your pocket and you borrow $7.75, you're going to owe, after you pay them the money you have in your pocket, you're going to owe, still owe somebody money, correct? Right? If you have $5.06 and you say, oh, yeah, hey, man, I'll give you $7.75, then you give them that much money, how much money you have, which is $5.60, you're still going to owe them an amount, correct? So the answer is going to be negative. But remember, the way that we talked about it is what? nothing. I'm just looking at I'm just interested in some of the things that you're holding on to. That's all. So anyways, <laughs> so the answer is going to be negative. Can we get an agreement on that? OK. Exact same thing. Think about this. Uh, 6 minus 4 is positive 2. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. 1 was positive. 1 was negative. However, the absolute distance, if you're going to take the absolute value of 2 and negative 2, it's still 2, right? So it re we're really not changing the answer if we change the way that we're going to subtract them. We just want to remember that this answer is negative. Because remember what I told you, we always want to subtract the larger number from the smaller. So what I'm going to do is say 7.75 minus 5.60. And all I need to do is remember that when I wrote this problem, I knew that the answer was going to be negative, because I'm subtracting actually a larger number from the smaller. So I'm just going to put the negative sign in there. All right, and actually, I gave you guys a really nice, easy problem. Subtract now vertically, decimal point down, two. Okay, that was a very nice, easy one. Quick, but does everybody understand that? Do not, when you have that larger number, you got to make sure you switch them.